Hey, what's going on, y'all? It's your boy Damian Adams from The Real Deal with Damian Adams here with The Real Take of the Week. Now, this week, there's been a lot of talk about realigning the NBA playoffs. So, of course, right now, you have eight teams in the East, eight teams in the West. They have tournaments on each side of the bracket. And then at the end, you have the Eastern Conference champion versus the Western Conference champion. They mean the NBA Finals. And it's been that way for a long time now. And the reason that there's been talk about realigning the playoffs to strictly 1 through 16 is that the Western Conference has been better than the Eastern Conference for about 20 years now. You think about after Jordan left the Bulls, the Western Conference has been the more dominant conference ever since. And it's a very long time for that trend to be going on. Usually that trend goes on for 8 to 10 years and then it switches or it becomes more even. You think about in the 80s, a lot of people don't like to talk about the fact that the Lakers had an easy road to the finals in the Western Conference. If you look at NBA 2K, it shows you great teams from the past, right? If you go to play now, you go to old school teams, it'll show you all the great teams from the past. And if you go to the Western Conference during the 80s, all you see is Lakers, Lakers, Lakers. Now, in the Eastern Conference, you've got the 76ers, the Celtics, the Hawks, the Bucks, the Bulls, and, of course, the Pistons from the 80s. But in the Western Conference, all you have was the Lakers. And the only competition they had was pretty much Houston, and then Houston self-destructed. So if we don't take away from Magic and the Showtime Lakers, we shouldn't take away from LeBron and his accomplishments, right? Now, the reason that I can see the 1 through 16 working and being a good thing for not only the NBA, but LeBron himself, is that even though LeBron is against the realignment, and I can see why, because of tradition, it can help him in his legacy because he could be, he could do something that LeBron, that Jordan, excuse me, never had to do. You think about the fact that if he makes it to the finals in a 1 through 16 bracket, and Jordan made it to the finals against the Eastern Conference each year, that's something that he can hold in a notch in his belt and say, oh, I made it even without the help of being in my conference. I made it having to go against a Portland or a Oklahoma City Thunder in the first round instead of going against my AC in the Eastern Conference. And 1 through 16 can create new rivalries as well. You can see maybe a Damian Lillard versus a Kyrie Irving in the first round. That will be dope. You can see Giannis versus Minnesota maybe. That will be crazy to see. So I think 1 through 16 can be very interesting. And it would be cool to see different teams play each other. Because it seems like in the Western and Eastern Conference, sometimes you'll have the same matchups every year. You remember it's, it was a few years where the Clippers played the Memphis Grizzlies every year. And we saw Blake Griffin and Zach Randolph get into it every year. And it was like, come on, bro. Can we stop having this same matchup every single year? And if you want to stop that stagnant process, switch it up with the 1 through 16. I can see both sides of the argument, but let's not act like we haven't seen these trends before. One conference has been better than the other one. This one just has lasted longer than those other trends. So when we think about LeBron going to seven straight finals, let's not throw the jab of the Eastern Conference being weak without saying that same thing about Magic Johnson and the Showtime Lakers. And also when it comes to realigning the conferences, or realigning the playoffs at least, I can see it from both sides of the table. I was side more towards going 1-16 through 16 just to create the new rivalries and have maybe the Pelicans go against Giannis and the Bucks or Toronto or something crazy like that. I would love to see that in the playoffs. Let me know what you think. Please like and subscribe to the YouTube channel. Subscribe to the podcast, The Real Deal with Damian Adams on Apple Podcasts, on the Spreaker Radio Network on the Three Point Conversion Station, all right? And until next time, go real or go home.